Hi, this is Trevor, and today we're talking about subordination. Subordination is when the claim of one creditor to a real estate asset is subordinated or made junior to the claim of another. This is pretty common, especially in the case of refinancing debt. So let's talk about it and I'll show you how it works. Imagine this is your timeline. And here we have year zero or the day of acquisition. And on this date, we have senior debt placed on the property. And as we know, claims to any real estate are prioritized in chronological order as to when they were made against the property or recorded on the title. So when we have senior debt on a property, if we go ahead and a little while later, we add some junior debt, the junior debt is subordinate to the senior debt in that its claim on the title was made after the senior debt. But then what happens if the senior debt refinances and a new loan is placed on after the junior debt? So imagine that this debt goes away and now we have this debt. Well, if this is the senior debt or the primary loan on the property, if it was made chronologically after the junior debt, then technically it would not have priority over the junior debt. It would be subordinate. So in this case, Typically, senior debt holders will require that the junior debt holders sign what's called a subordination agreement. And subordination agreements effectively say, we as the junior debt holder agree to subordinate behind whoever is executing the subordination agreement. So effectively, what would happen is the junior debt holder's claim would now be subordinated behind the senior debt. So that in the event of foreclosure, the senior debt holder would be paid back first, and then if there are excess funds left over, then that junior debt holder would get paid. This has been a quick overview of subordination. Thanks for watching.